Today we're going to be talking about texture and the different ways that artists use texture to create their artworks. There are two types of texture that artists use. One is actual texture and the other is implied texture. Actual texture means you could actually reach out and touch and feel what this what the texture is of the object for instance the fur of this furry animal the bark of a tree the roughness of the bark a close-up view of this artwork looks like a soft furry animal but as you move back away from the object you can see that the artist used the fur to create an object that normally would not be considered soft or furry it would usually be smooth and hard if you could feel this sculpture of a horse, you would see that the artist did not create the horse using the regular texture of a living animal. However, it has the texture of a tree. When an artist uses texture that can only be seen and not felt, we call this implied texture. Like the feathers you just saw or the fur on this rabbit, though they may look realistic and fluffy, you can't actually feel that texture. Same thing with this eye. It looks very realistic and that you can t you can visually see the texture, but you would not be able to feel it. Texture is created using the values that we used in our last project the lightness and the darkness. Now this would be considered actual texture of a tiger. You can see that it looks really furry. This would be an artist's rendering or implied texture. Here's the actual texture of an elephant, of an elephant's eye. And then we have an artist's rendering. Notice how they use values to create that texture and the way that they draw with their lines. This is a close-up actual texture of scales of a fish and here is an artist's rendering or implied texture of those scales. Also here peacock feathers actual texture implied texture this is an artist's rendering. Your assignment is to find a picture either on your phone or a calendar page a magazine page something that has a nice visual texture like the feathers of this bird the first thing you want to do is crop your picture that means pick out an area that you want to draw make sure you're focusing on not what the subject is not the bird itself but you want to focus on an area that shows the texture Next, you're going to pick out your materials that you're going to be using. I know not all of you have a lot of art materials at your house. If you need to do this only with pencil and paper, you can do it with pencil and paper. You can also, however, add color to it using either colored pencils or crayons or markers. I would prefer colored pencils, especially if you have a wide variety of colors. As you can see in mine, um, as I'm drawing this, I'm using a lot of different values of the colors to create that texture. You, the direction of your strokes um, when you're when you're drawing is going to help create that texture as well as the values, the lightnesses and the darknesses that you use. Um, my particular picture has a variety of colors in it. You want to try to, to not let the colors distract you too much. The, the main point of the assignment is to get in those that, that illusion of the texture. Um, so if the colors are distracting you too much, don't worry all that much about the colors. Don't, don't base your picture on different types of colors. The most important um, part is that you're getting in those different values and creating a texture, not just coloring it in like a coloring book page. You want this to have the textures. So I've got that blue area, the light, the area of the blue feathers. This is the area of the red orange feathers. And then there's another area of like yellow green feathers. I tried to speed this up. A lot of times you guys ask me how long it took me to do this, these samples. When I first started creating this video, the video footage of me coloring this in, it was about an hour long. So please don't rush. Um, try to 
do your best. And again, we're focusing on the texture, not quite as much on like trying to, we're not, we're not trying to make it look like, this is not supposed to look like a bird. It's supposed to look like maybe the feathers of the bird. Um, so I'm trying to get in the texture, like the, the textures I showed you just a bit ago, where you saw the actual texture and the implied texture. Those pictures were not, it was not a picture of a tiger. It was not a picture of an elephant. It was a picture of the, the texture of the tiger, the texture of the elephant. That's what we're trying to get in this picture. So you're going to fill the entire paper. This could be just your regular printer paper if that's what you have at home. Fill the entire picture with whatever texture it is that you're working on. So I want to talk a little bit about cropping the image. You saw that um, I'm t I, I used a calendar page and I want to be able to reuse those calendar pages for future projects so I didn't want to cut that area out. If you're using like a magazine picture or if you are um, printing out a picture on your computer, you can cut down the picture to just show that texture that you're going to be focusing on. If you're just, you know, you can just draw directly using your phone as a reference and your phone has features where you can crop the picture so you don't even have to worry about cutting it. You can crop it right on your phone and draw from there. Once you have this picture completely filled in, um, then I'll show you what the next step is. So here's my completed background. The You can see the texture that I've created using the colored pencils and the different values. So I've used color, I've used values, I've used shading, I've used lines. You can see the, the strokes of the pencil. Now the next part is going to be to draw whatever your object is that, that you are drawing the texture of. So in my case, I drew the feathers of a bird. So I am, I'm sorry this was kind of zoomed in, but I am drawing the, um, the parrot the, or the bird on the black paper. If you don't have black paper, you could use white paper. It it won't have quite the same effect when it's done, but um, you can use the white paper. So I cut it out. I'm cutting it out of the black paper. So, so you, there you can see my parrot. Now you're going to apply glue to the side of the paper that has the the pencil drawing on it. So the pencil Will be glued down onto the picture and here you can see once you put attach your bird or your animal to your picture you have your beautiful texture picture